29 PSI in the breakpoints. Next, we're going to find our target air fuel table. Now, this target air fuel table is going to just have two different functions. First, it's going to be a, uh, a basis for our closed loop fuel control. So, um, when we look at the closed loop fuel control in a separate video, we're going to be going over all that. But uh, this will represent the target air fuel that we want our closed loop to run from. It also represents uh, calculating for our injector pulse width output. Now we know that our fuel mass is equal to our air mass divided by our desired air fuel. So this is going to represent that desired air fuel. This is going to have dual functionality. So for example, if we set our table under boost to something like 11 and a half air fuel, and we tune our VE table here in that particular same boost region. So in this area here, we change our values and we represent our volumetric efficiency in our fuel table. And if we simply want to go ahead and change that air fuel, we wouldn't touch our main fuel table. Here we'd go back into our target air fuel and we'd simply say, let's go changing it from 11 and a half to 12 to 1. We can highlight that same area, make it 12 to 1 and make a pull. And now our air fuel would show 12 to 1 because we uh, represented it in our target air fuel table based on this volumetric efficiency fuel modeling. So that's going to be one advantage we have um, when we work with our VE based systems here. Next we're going to find we have an injector firing angle and this is going to be our injection time. So if you're confused about what that is, there's a separate EFI advanced video under fuel injection timing. Uh, go check that out if you're confused. The values in this table are end of injection reference, so EOI reference. So that table will apply to setting up this, uh, this particular table. Looking at that video, uh, it's going to be very clear what we have to populate these values with. Now the values uh, that are in this table as a default might be okay to start up and run. We simply, we definitely can optimize these values. Um, so if you're looking to have some values to start with, putting in 360 degrees or 300 degree range might be something sufficient to start and then changing these values based on the tips that I give you in that video. Um, you'll be able to dial in this injection firing angle or the injection timing. 